All right, welcome to this big breaking news edition of Hannity Live from Miami. Hello, Miami. Have a great... All right, we begin tonight a Fox News alert. Tonight, the witch hunt, the Schumer Schiff Sham show. It is thankfully for the sake of the country over. The United States Senate, they officially voted to deny the Democrats' latest witness stunt. And the final vote to acquit the president is now inevitable, will take place. Now we expect 4 p.m. Wednesday afternoon. The country can now hopefully finally move on from this fact free partisan impeachment sham that will go down in history as one of the biggest and single most embarrassing Democratic blunders of all time. Now, this three-year-long, never-ending temper tantrum, it will be over Wednesday. The damage to the country, as of tonight, incalculable. The exact same people, those people that lied, Russia, 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 impeach, impeach, collusion, collusion, three years of this, those that advanced their conspiracy theories almost daily, those that totally ignored what was the biggest single abuse of power corruption scandal in history, those who ignored the dirty dossier, premeditated fraud on a FISA court to deny one American his civil liberties, his constitutional rights, those that were spying on a presidential candidate illegally, his transition team, deep into the Trump presidency, those same people, and of course their allies in the media mob, they failed at what was the latest coup attempt. Now, all while they have not lifted a single fing finger at all to help you, we, the American people. They didn't create a single job. They didn't make us any more safe or secure or prosperous. They have dragged this out, it being their usual immature selves. Clearly, their hatred of President Trump now surpasses their desire to do anything for the American people, as evidenced by the last three years. This is actually a sad and a very dangerous chapter we are closing in this country's history. Earlier today, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, he secured the votes to block further witnesses and prevent further distraction. In other words, they didn't take on what was the sole constitutional role of the House to impeach. And by the way, now that the end is in sight, it cannot be soon enough. After key GOP senators Lamar Alexander, Lisa Murkowski announced their opposition to caving to the Democrats' latest last-minute Hail Mary for what? More witnesses? We had opinion witnesses, hearsay witnesses. The only one fact witness says, what did the president want? Nothing. No quid or pro or quo like Joe. They did exactly what the United States Constitution, as Professor Dershowitz rightly pointed out, required of them. Senator Murkowski released a statement, very powerful, reading, quote, the House chose to send articles of impeachment that are rushed and flawed. I carefully considered the need for additional witnesses and documents to cure the shortcomings of its process, but ultimately decided that I will vote against considering motions to subpoena. And last night, Senator Lamar Alexander tweeting, if this shallow, hurried, wholly partisan impeachment were to succeed, it would rip the country apart, pouring gasoline on the fire of cultural divisions that already exist. It would create the weapon of perpetual impeachment to be used against future presidents whenever the House of Representatives is on of a different political party. Senators, thank you. Thank you for standing for the American people. Thank you for standing for truth, for facts, for fairness. Thank you for standing against what is a rage-fueled partisan witch hunt. Thank you for standing for our Constitution. Any effort to extend this charade any longer is not only a waste of time, it puts a further divide in this country.